Hello, welcome to Revelator John. What is Henry's Law? Henry's Law is one of the gas laws and states that uh, the gas, when held at a constant temperature, uh, the amount of gas that is dissolved uh, within a body of liquid is uh, directly proportional to the partial pressure of that gas uh, within that liquid held in equilibrium. So what does that mean in, in plain speak? Well, what this means is that it really depends um, on the pressure, the partial pressure of that gas and how that relates to the pressure of that liquid and how the gas is dissolved uh, within that liquid and at what pressure it was done so. That all sounds very confusing, I know. So there are a couple of examples here. So when we discuss about absorbing gas, we can say that the absorption was performed at a particular pressure. So there's a relationship where the gas is in equilibrium with the liquid. So it's, the gas is held within that liquid. When we change the pressure of the liquid or change the pressure of the uh, surrounding atmosphere, then there is a difference, a gradient, if you will. So there might be a dramatic change in equilibrium. Therefore, the gas that was dissolved within the liquid will start to vaporize and bubbles will start to form. So imagine, if you will, a bottle of Coca-Cola or Pepsi or whatever it is, some fizzy drink, and you've just bought it from a shop and you open the top, then gas suddenly escapes, bubbles start to appear out, and it might start to flow over the top, especially if you've given it a little shake. Okay, and that is Henry's Law um, in practice where the pressure has suddenly changed, therefore the gas that is dissolved within the bottle, uh, within the liquid I should say, uh, suddenly has to equalize and come out. The other um, example you might uh, associate it is with gases and liquids within the body, the human body. So most notably oxygen and uh, any other gas, nitrogen for example, um, and how that is absorbed and held within the blood itself. So this really affects um, people who go scuba diving, for example, and then they absorb oxygen and nitrogen, of course, uh, all the gases uh, at a particular pressure when below the surface. And then as they ascend, if they ascend too quickly, then the gas within their um, blood will start to bubble and start to try and equalize to the outside pressure or to the reducing pressure as they're coming up. Hence why the ascent um, from lower, deeper depths uh, and coming up to shallower depths has to be very slow and gradual and they have to keep on breathing and replacing their oxygen and re-centering or re uh, equalizing their pressure within their liquid, within their blood. So that when they actually reach the surface, Henry's law is not a, an issue anymore. So once again, Henry's law relates to the, uh, the uh, amount of uh, gas that is dissolved within a body of liquid and its proportionality, uh, its relationship to then the uh, body, uh, the amount of uh, gas uh, in equilibri equilibrium uh, within that liquid itself. And this is all at a constant temperature. As soon as, soon as we start changing temperature, then we're changing many of the factors that affect many of the gas laws themselves. Thank you.